The extrude and the extruded cut feature are two of the most common features that you're going to see in a Libre design. To use either one of those, we're going to need a sketch. So let's go ahead and activate a 2D sketch. I'm going to go ahead and choose the XY plane here. And all I need is one enclosed boundary. So I'm going to go something super simple. Let's just grab a rectangle, start at the origin, and drag that out. Okay. Now what I want to do is go over here to Model and come here to Extrude. Click on that. Notice we get this little dialog pop-up, Extrude Boss. It's telling me I'm trying to extrude sketch number one to a depth, which I have a few different options here. I can do mid-plane, dual depth, a bunch of different ways I can do that. Uh, but let's just start with the two depth. Uh, and negative five inches is fine. I can reverse that or put it to the front. That would work as well. Click OK, and it's just that easy. Draw a sketch, it hit the extrude button, tell it how far you like to extrude it, and now you have a 3D shape. Okay, but let's dive in a little bit deeper. All right, what about if we go back to that sketch? Here's that sketch, and if I click and right click on it and say edit, come back over here. What if I put a circle now right in here? What happens then? So when I deactivate that sketch, notice what happens is I go back over to that 3D model. I can take a look at it, and now that's just been added. That hole's been added to that sketch. So you have to, you have to think about these things separately. So you have a sketch and you have an extrude, and they're two separate features. Right? One's the sketch that's then turned into that extrude feature. So anything in that sketch is going to be extruded. But the extrude itself is only the depth and how you're creating it. It's just taking whatever's in the sketch and using it. So you can go back and modify that sketch as much, many times as you'd like, and the extrude feature won't actually change. It's always going to extrude that 5 inches. But if you want to change the actual extrusion, then you want to actually click on Edit That One. And in that case, all it's asking us is how, how much do we want to extrude it, if we want to draft it. You know, I can see I can draft it this way or that way. I can modify the feature itself a couple different ways here. So I'm going to go ahead and back to take it back to zero. This time I'm going to switch over to make midplane. So it's starting from that plane and going both directions. Click OK. Let's go back and change the sketch this time one more time. So here's sketch number one. Right click on it and say edit. OK, this time let's get a little bit fancy. Let's put a circle on the outside. Okay, let's put another rectangle on the outside. What's going to happen then, right? So let's go ahead and deactivate the sketch and guess what happens? We get three different shapes, right? They're, they're all here and the extrude command doesn't care, right? It's taking whatever's in the sketch and just extruding it that five inches and there's what you have. So that's how that works. Now once you have an extrusion, uh, now you have something to cut into, so now I can use the Extrude Cut feature. And it works exactly the same way. Say, hey, how about this block right here? I'm going to choose that top surface here. I'm going to right click on it and say Activate a 2D Sketch. Now I'm sketching right here on this plane. right? So I want to draw something, like how about a circle? right? Uh, how about a rectangle? Whatever you draw that's on that plane is going to be cut through. Now that's independent of the feature itself. So if I go over here to the model, go to Extrude Cut, we get the same type of dialog box. It's going to be cutting up or a certain depth, right? But instead of up to depth, I could say like through all. It's just going to cut whatever it sees, it's going to cut right through it. Or maybe mid plane, it's going to cut in both directions. How about dual depth? Same thing. I can define the values in both directions. How about up to next? That's probably one of the most common ones. Um, but because I have disjoint loops, uh, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to get out of that one. Um, and then two geometry, and then saying, hey, well, what, what is that geometry? Right? And it's asking us, what is the geometry I like to go to? I'm going to go to that, that face there, which is a great way to do that. Click OK, and now we have an extruded cut. We've added those holes to our part. Now, does it care if I add more holes to that sketch? Absolutely not. So let's go back and look at that sketch. And notice what we have over here in the feature tree, or the design, sorry, I mean, the design explorer, is you've got features, you've got an extrusion, and it's got a sketch below it. Now you have another extrusion, which is an extruded cut, and you have that sketch, right? So I can open up or edit that sketch, and I can go back and say, hey, let's, let's have one more rectangle, right? Deactivate the sketch, and it just automatically adds it to that sketch. So you can really manipulate this really quickly and easily just by going back and changing the individual sketches or the features themselves. Just keep in mind, those are related together, but they're two separate things. That's the basics for using both the extrude as well as the extrude cut.